again, thank you for joining us. We appreciate this. This is Driver's Talk, and I'm Rick Titus. We're coming to you from our brand new, finally completed studios right here in beautiful Southern California at the Celine Automotive Facility. What do you think, Jay? We waited a lot of months for this. And we primed this, too. We uh, showed some photographs on Instagram. I heard there was some spy leakage. I, yeah, uh, very proud. Very proud. Supposed to have Welcome it. home, man. Behind me, of course, is Spencer Crick doing the engineering work. Give him a wave, Spence. Come on. That said, Jay, you want to leave with some automotive news? Should we jump yeah, in there? Yeah, I think one of the more significant stories that has happened in the last few weeks has been the uh, announcement that the smart car oh, yeah. will be removed from the U.S. market and Canadian markets. Daimler is finally pulling smart. Now, one of our colleagues, Mike Amusio, has predicted this on the, our prediction show two years running, that smart would be out of gas well, this or thing out was, of battery power. This thing was getting CPR for a long time. The patient had really died a couple, three years back, if you want the truth. And I've owned a smart car. In the right application, it was it was a doable car. But a lot of people use them in the wrong application. Now, I'm not the bearer of great news here, because in Southern California, taking dune buggies to the grand dunes of some of the beaches here, in particular, Pismo, pretty famous beach. Now it looks like Pismo, and in particular, what, Oceano o- Oceano Park? Dunes. Yeah, is Oceano Park. Dunes is, is doomed. It looks like the dust abatement acts of all things Southern California. Uh, you can defecate in the street, but you cannot make dust. So Listen, at, in uh, previous shows, we talked about something called a composite bed in a pickup truck. Yeah, this has been a, a kicked around dialogue. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so we're repeating ourselves just a little bit, but you and I both speculated, hey, somebody better tip some cinder blocks into those beds to figure out if it's even going to work. Apparently, the bed has come from that very idea. And that's a carbon fiber composite bed. On the topic of General Motors, since we're there, and I, I've heard a rumor that GM's going to come on, uh, come out with a cookbook about eating crow. So I know that they've had to eat enough crow that they could do a cookbook. But I figured out one of the great mysteries of the automotive industry at this juncture. Everyone is baffled by the fact that GM came out with such an ugly Chevy pickup. And no one could put that together. But it occurred to me they did that to make the GMC truck look really good. And GMC truck sales are actually up, and Silverado is going this way, down. But at the moment, they're one of the things that's keeping General Motors in the game. Nothing you and I could say to a Chevy buyer that will make them not buy a Chevy. I'll make this very quick. Honda's being sued. There's a class action suit at the moment. Shocking. About... The dealers not wanting to fix the infotainment systems. Oh, this I did not know about. Apparently, there is infotainment failure going on. Frequent no, f- tell me it's not true. Frequently freezing, crashing, or disabling features, but they're not getting satisfaction from the dealer. There's no repair that can be done at the moment. Okay, real quickly, Jay, i got to add, anyone who's ever flown know that your comfort is not what airlines worry about. And of course, they've looked for every possible way to make it as miserable as they possibly can. Take it away magazines, pillows, blankets. They charge you now for food that they used to give you. By the way, the food's pretty marginal. But guess what? It was introduced and apparently will be approved standing seats. I guess the word seat no longer is applied. Well, there's a little bicycle seat type thing that you can put your bum on, but you're standing. Major airlines have expressed serious interest. That said, we've got a real fun segment coming up. We're hitting the track at Speed Vegas when we return. 